as, as afternoons go, that's, uh, that's about as good as it's going to get. A real pressure game for us, and you know, we produced the goods. Uh, thought we was, uh, you know, first half especially excellent on the front foot. Did, the lads did everything we asked. We thought we uh, we worked on all week, being on the front foot, closing them down, and not giving Chester any uh, any opportunity to get the passing game going. And it, and it worked a treat. And you know, we quickly found ourselves in a three 0 lead, which is obviously takes a fair bit of pressure off. You know, slacking off a little bit second half, which sometimes can come natural, but then finish the game very strongly as well once we got the fourth. So now we're really pleased in uh, you know in in ten, the tense it is, it's, it's very tense, you can feel the tension in the ground, but I thought my players you know, reacted tremendously. Yeah. Well, you did a lot to, to take the pressure out of the situation by, by getting such a quick start. Yeah, we did, and you know, it's, it's important to try and get on the front foot and, and uh, get ourselves going early. And you know, Some of our play at times was, was, was very good, and the goals were well-worked goals at times. And Like I say, we'd, we'd worked on it a lot in the week, getting on the front foot. And I think the, the biggest thing was is, is making sure we didn't give a Chester any time on the ball and, and to uh, to get their passing game going. And once we were started well in the faces, we uh, we got the early goals. Yeah. And, and the strange thing was, you probably should have been a goal down before all that. Yes, yeah. You know, sometimes you need that little bit of bit of luck there. He's, you know, it's, uh, it's a bad mistake to be fair by Will. I think he's kicked it off his standing foot, but uh, the lad's got to put it in. He didn't put it in, and we we capitalised on it. So. If but some maybes, yeah, isn't it? Absolutely, and we've we've spent plenty of post matches in the past brewing missed chances, but but today, while there were some of those, there was, there was plenty of clinical finishing too. No, no, it was, uh, it was really good. I thought Matt Taylor led the line superbly. I thought it was excellent, and you know, and the and the boys that came on, Ellis, Ellis put a shift in, bliss, nice little touch to set Ellis on his way. So we've got good competition play for places in the in the front areas of the pitch and all over the pitch. You know, Macca comes on and shows us up there, and you know, it keeps him fresh for Monday as well. Yeah, absolutely. And with Andy Munkhouse, a couple of goals. For him, it's important to get those uh, those goals shared out a bit, and he, he's been pretty good at chipping in for the season. He, listen, the, the five ones a massive plus uh, for me. Uh, it was about the three points, you know, and, and to help our goal difference out, which might come into come into play, was it was a big boost to get four goals on the board. So, uh, you know, but the three points is massive. I've been playing a day earlier than the, than our rivals. Yeah, and was that goal difference something in, in your mind at half time? Because at three nil, the match could be done listen, pretty much. You know, listen, it's three uh, nil. We, we talked about statement of intent or, or you know or stumble across the line for, for 20 minutes it looked like we were going to stumble a little bit they, you know give them credit they put in more men forward and, and they get the goal but then we kicked on again and you know we're screaming at the boys when, it, when you get 4-1 it, the game becomes more comfortable and we want to you know 5-6 you know because goal difference might come into play yeah, absolutely and, and you've helped yourself a, a lot there and um, and, and Ellis's goal just to finish it off when you did you get the feeling maybe earlier in the season that's not one he'd have uh, found the back of the net with. Ah, oh, great strike, Ellis. You know he's, he's working hard, like everyone, a member of my squad's working hard to try and get this the, the, the football club back into the league. I think they deserve massive credit for the way they've gone about the season. You know it's it's, it's difficult at times because of the expectation levels and and, and how all the teams like to raise the game against us. But uh, today I thought we were as well worthy of the three points. Yeah, and if you can get your biggest win of the season now, is the time to start doing it, isn't it? Well, it's four to go. Let's go. You know we've got Kidderminster now. We, I think we sold our 2,600 tickets. I'm sure the gas heads are going to go up there, you know, in very buoyant mood, and I'm sure they're going to try and help us to get the three points up there. I'm sure they'll be loud and vocal. It's going to help the boys because you know, at home and you know, to get 8,500 supporters is is absolutely magnificent, and you can feel the tension off them. Yeah. You know, not you know they, they you know they at the end they're starting to enjoy it a little bit more, but the fans are tense, and if we can if we can get those and and the players to relax a little bit more without being sloppy. You know, and really get us going, and, and and to keep going with the next two home games. Yeah, but what a way to put pressure on on those rivals you got at the top of the table. No, we, you know, we we we've done all we can do. So you know, I still think it's in uh, you know in Barnet's hands, and you know, Grimsby on a good roll. We came we came in the weekend third favourites, so you know, so yeah. all we can do is win our game and put as much pressure on uh, on uh, on Barnet and Grimsby as we can. The only uh, slight down note was uh, was. Jermaine Easter going off early is that one that they might see now? Uh, it's early to say. It only looks like a jarred knee, which will, which would be you know wouldn't wouldn't be too uh, too much of a problem. So we'll see. And uh, tomorrow is it one where you'll be be turning the phone and everything off? Or no, be we're in training. Tonight? We're in training. So. <laughs> Oh, Come three o'clock when the yeah. matches start. Still be training. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a long session. Uh, a long one, extra long. We're now we're in Saturday Sunday, so we'll uh, we'll get the get the focus again. We we'll put this one to bed. We'll be in for a bit of a cool down day tomorrow, so lads. That didn't. Uh, play or do some training work and then Sunday next project Kidderminster away